I just got out of the Top Gun Maverick early access fan event, a movie that was much better than I anticipated it being. And at the event, by the way, they actually gave us some merchandise, which was pretty cool. They gave us this poster right here, an amazing Tom Cruise Top Gun Maverick poster. And then they also gave us a pen from the movie. If you could see that there, absolutely amazing. But yeah, guys, let's go ahead and hop right into this review. Let's talk about this movie. What's going on guys, the Demigod back on Demigod ENT coming at you with another movie review for Top Gun Maverick, the sequel to the 80s classic Top Gun, which by the way, I actually got to view that original film, I believe in 2020, back in 2020, at the theater, they had it playing at the cinemas, I got to watch it on the big screen for my first time seeing that movie, it was an amazing experience, and this movie right here was a great theatrical experience too, the fans definitely came out for this one, the crowd for this was definitely an older crowd, lots of people who I would assume grew up with the Top Gun movie of course coming out to see this one but yeah just so much fan support so much fan love and this movie in itself is a love story to the original Top Gun film and how does it hold up as a sequel how does it compare to the first movie it does a fantastic job in my opinion I would say I even enjoyed Top Gun Maverick way more than I did the first movie which was insane to say something I didn't expect to say walking into this film I didn't expect it to be as great as it is and let's just jump into that now of course Tom Cruise stars in this movie movie as Maverick and his character is kind of one that's almost stuck in time he hasn't changed hasn't aged a day almost since the first time we see him and he's almost becoming a product of his past in this film Maverick is tasked with putting together a special team of six members out of 12 to go on this Mission Impossible type mission no pun intended and he has to train these members up he has to prepare them for this role and yeah, man, the stakes in this movie are very high. I really love everything this movie had to offer from the cinematography. Some of the shots in here are so beautiful. In fact, all of the shots in here are beautiful. The jet flying and the shots inside the cockpit are even better than the first movie, which nothing has really done it close to that original movie until now. So that was great to see, man. Everything that is required out of a sequel was put into this film. Lots of hints and nuggets that relate back to the original movie. A love interest inside of here that I believe continued from the first movie with Maverick and Penny that was done very well very classy inside of this movie they even do some old school tropes with that relationship inside of this film that played much better than they had any business playing man I mean they really put their all into this film you can tell this is something that must be viewed at the cinemas on the big screen this needs the theatrical viewing experience now all of the military stuff with inside of here it was done very respectful they highlighted the US military very well with the use of the Navy inside of this movie. There's lots of charismatic and new characters that join Tom Cruise in this movie to be on his team and under him, training under him. And there's even plot lines from the first movie that weren't completely wrapped up that they bring back in here to wrap those up to give you a conclusion on those. And it really gives us everything that we needed out of a Top Gun sequel while still taking this movie to the next level. It does such a great job at highlighting the original while being something fresh and new and exciting to view inside the theater and overall man I honestly couldn't recommend this film anymore especially if you are a fan of the original I highly suggest you watch the original before you go see this movie are you going to be confused on a couple things you're not going to get a lot of storylines with inside of here oh Val Kilmer they bring him back with inside of here they include him in a way to where he can be inside the movie because of course he's having some real life issues however they still find a way to weave him in here as the ice man and man they do a great job with that I'm just highly impressed with this film highly impressed will I be seeing it again probably I'd say the rewatchability here is definitely pretty high and yeah man this just came out much better than I'm sure anyone could have expected anyone could have anticipated a hell of a movie a hell of a theatrical experience and with that being said I'm gonna go ahead and just drop a rating for this movie I give Top Gun Maverick the official score of 10 out of 10 it gets the 10 out of 10 while watching this film I was trying to notice flaws I was really trying man I couldn't find any. I just kept being more and more impressed with what they were giving me. And I love this movie. I love this experience. Maybe it's the fact that it was a fan event. You know, the cloud was clapping and applauding and 
just giving so much energy to this movie and to this experience plus i got some cool merch to go along with it so overall man i mean a hell of a fan event a hell of an experience and a hell of a movie go out and support this one at the cinemas who knew we'd be saying that top gun maverick was one of the best movies of 2022 but it was and yeah man with that being said if you don't know what i do here on timmy gotti and tia do commentaries reactions and reviews so if you're interested in that in the right place man hit subscribe hit the like button i drop multiple videos a week on the channel so you didn't expect out of me and if you don't already know i am the demi god the chosen one here on demi god ent and i'm out of this thing man more reviews coming soon more videos coming soon as always stay tuned peace